on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, this is a cyclocell sponsored trial, uh, including two drugs, uh, sapocytabine and psilocyclib, and we've used them in combination and achieve response in patients who have uh, BRCA deficient solid tumors. So these are cancers that arise in patients who have an inherited a copy, an abnormal copy of a BRCA gene, including cancers of uh, breast, ovarian, and pancreatic origin. So here's the biology behind this study. So sapocytabine is a DNA base analog. It's a nucleoside analog. Its active metabolite is known as CNDAC. And it's incorporated into growing DNA chains when it's given to patients into the DNA of their cells. And it imposes a single strand break. When the DNA tries to replicate, that degenerates to a double strand break. And uh, the double strand break needs to be repaired in order for the cells uh, to recover. Now, there's many mechanisms by which cells can repair DNA damage, but one of the most important is called homologous recombination. And it turns out that uh, in order, the, the cells are very, very dependent on homologous recombination to repair the damage induced by sapocytabine. So that if homologous recombination is intact, cells will repair and recover. If it's compromised, uh, cells will not be able to repair, and this will be a lethal event for cells, and, and they will go on to die. Now, two of the most important proteins in the homologous recombination pathway are the BRCA proteins. So if the BRCA proteins are intact, this includes BRCA1 and BRCA2, then in many cases, the homologous recombination pr pathway can ensue and cells can recover. But if the BRCA proteins are absent, such as in a BRCA deficient cancer that arose in a patient who inherited a bad copy of a BRCA gene, then this HR pathway, this homologous recombination pathway, will be compromised and cells will die. So we can expect that the BRCA deficient cancers will be hypersensitive to sapocytabine. Now, there's many, many proteins involved in the homologous recombination pathway, not only the BRCA proteins. And another set of proteins that's very important are known as the cyclin-dependent kinases, or CDK proteins. And these proteins have many cellular roles, but they do play a role in this homologous recombination pathway. And so they need to be intact for this pathway to be ongoing as well. And psilocyclib is a CDK inhibitor. And when we use a drug that can block the CDK activity, we can not only have an effect on BRCA proteins, but we also affect other components of the pathway so that the HR pathway, the homologous recombination pathway, is compromised and cells will die. And in that way, psilocyclib can add to the effects of sapocytabine and increase its ability to kill cancer cells. Additionally, cancer cells turn on sets of proteins that are known as pro-survival proteins. These are proteins that are going to drive the survival of the cancer cell. And CDK inhibitors have the added effect of inhibiting the expression of these proteins as well, hence leading to even more cell death. So this is the mechanism by which psilocyclib may add to sapocytabine. But you can imagine that in the case where the BRCA proteins are already deficient, and then we further disrupted the homologous recombination pathway with CDK inhibition, we may get the best hit of all, and that the combination itself may be the most successful in the patients with the BRCA deficient cancers. So in summary, for the clinical trial that we'll present Tuesday, we established that combining these drugs is safe. We've established the recommended doses by which they should be combined on a sequential schedule. We've done some assays to actually show that the CDK inhibitor will increase the DNA damage that's induced by the sapocytabine. In patients with BRCA proficient cancers, we've had many patients with prolonged stable disease. But in the BRCA deficient group, in patients who are BRCA mutation carriers, who then go on to develop either pancreatic or ovarian or breast cancer, we've had several partial responses which have been of long duration and several instances of prolonged stable disease, um, which has been a successful experience and which lays the groundwork for further work of this combination in BRCA deficient cancers. Thank you.